there are growing calls to address these inequalities, particularly the wage inequality, mm -hmm. with more taxes. In particular, in the United States, there's been a call by Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez to tax uh, people earning over 10 million at a 70% tax rate. The current top rate in the United States is 37%. Uh, Michael Dell, do you support this? <laughs> I just want to say I'm thrilled that they're asking. Wow. Me. <laughs> um, well, look, I mean, uh, you know, my wife and I set up a foundation uh, about 20 years ago, and we would have contributed quite a bit more than a 70% tax rate on my income, on, on my annual income. And I feel much more comfortable with our ability as a private foundation to allocate those funds than I do giving them to the government. All right. <laughs> so, no, I'm, I'm not supportive of that. Well, Keith. And, and, uh... and, 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 and I don't think it would help the growth of the U.S. economy. Oh, that's interesting. And can you say a little bit more about why? Why you don't think it would? Well, name a country where that's worked, ever. United States. <laughs> <laughs> Briefly, in the 80s. No, maybe. no, no. For from about the 1930s through about the 1960s, the tax rate averaged about 70%. Um, at times, it was up as high as 95%. And those were actually pretty good years for growth. So I, I don't have a strong opinion on that proposal. A lot of the devil th is in the details. Um, but I think it's uh, there's actually a lot of economics that suggests that it's not necessarily going to hurt growth.